Hey everybody, Casey here, and I'm going to show you today how to play The Simpsons Tapped Out on your computer. Yes, it is possible to play this game on your computer. So first up, open up your browser, whatever that may be, go to www.bluestacks.com. It's spelled exactly how it sounds. Now, on the left hand side there's going to be a Windows, and on the right there's going to be Mac users. Chances are most people are Windows. So click it and download it and download it. Click it and download it to get started. Just a reminder, guys, it is only compatible with Windows Vista, XP, and Windows 7. If you have Windows 8, for example, you may or may not be able to play it. But here's what you can actually end up doing download it and install it and see if it runs. If it doesn't, and you know, you get some kind of message, error message, whatever, go to the C drive, program files, go to the blue stacks folder, look for an hd-agent.exe file, right click it, go properties, go to the compatibility tab, and then select one of the three versions of Windows that are compatible with blue stacks. Press OK and then see if it actually works then. You may have to, to restart your computer for it to work, but see if that actually fixes it. Moving on. You downloaded it and now you are installing Blue Stacks. Here is a problem that some people may run into. You may run into an error message that will pop up for some people that says video card not compatible. Unfortunately, it's exactly what it says, your video card is not compatible. And this is usually the case with older laptops. What actually ends up happening is a lot of laptops have built-in video cards and these video cards are old or they're very cheap. So if you end up getting a very cheap laptop or a good deal so to speak, chances are it's because the video card is very very poor. And with this poor video card, unfortunately this BlueStacks program, you need a bit of a more up-to-date video card to actually run it. So, unfortunately you will be out of luck unless your laptop allows you to e install an external video card, but chances are that's not the case. Most laptops you can only have a built-in video card and you're stuck with it. So I'm sorry to say that's the harsh reality. If you get this particular error message, for a laptop. If you get it for PC, you would have to upgrade your video card, but that shouldn't be a problem for most people. But I wouldn't recommend updating your video card just for a Simpsons tapped out program. I wouldn't, that'd be kind of silly to be honest. But you can do what you want, I'm not judging you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry to say that guys. Moving on, if you manage to download and install this particular program, you are exactly where I am, looking at exactly what I'm looking at. So, the next question is, where do you go to get the Simpsons tapped out game? In the very middle at the top, this is top charts. Click it, it may be here, it may not be. These are for trending apps or new apps, things of that nature. If it's not here, click the magnifying glass in the very corner here at the top, and then, well, do what it says. Type it in. It's searching for the actual app, and there we go. Now, I don't know why it says install, that's just kind of weird. It should say installed, because I actually have it installed on my computer. But I'm going to click it anyways, and I'm going to show you exactly what you have to do. So, there's three different stores. The first one says one, not really sure what that is. The second one, Amazon Apps, and the third is Google Play. Always do Google Play, I would recommend that. This is an Android emulator, so I'm not sure if Google and Android go hand in hand, but I find that the Google Play works the best for me. So, keep in mind guys, you're going to need a Gmail account as well, but if you have a YouTube account, that is a Gmail account, so use that one. Pretty simple. If you don't have a Gmail account, just make one use it for this particular uh, program to download it, and then don't even, you don't even have to look at it ever again, so anyways, 
keep that in mind when you're going to click this. So click the Simpsons tap down on the right hand side. There we go. So now I have to install it on the right hand side. Again, I don't know why it says that. I have it installed. But I'll click it again anyways just to show you. You're going to get a little box that pops up telling you, telling you that you're going to need to actually use your phone, things of that, of that nature. Remember guys, this is an Android emulator. You don't necessarily need a phone to actually sync it. People are going to say you do. I never actually ever had to do that. What ended up actually happening with me is I used an old iPod Touch. But EA ended up actually discontinuing it for my generation, so I was stuck. I found bluestacks.com, I was able to play it, start the game, and I've had no problems since then. I never had to sync anything, so I'm not really sure why people say you need to sync it. Anyways, moving on, click Accept. Now it's going to actually install it. For me, I don't know, it's installing it again, I don't know why. I don't care, not a big deal. It's actually a good thing because it shows you exactly what you have to do. Okay, so it's installing here. It's installing. There we go. So on the right hand side, it says open or uninstall. Don't do open yet. Go to the very bottom in the middle. That's the BlueStacks homepage. Go back to my apps. There we go. So now I have two of them. I don't know why. But it's kind of screwed up. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to uninstall this one. All you have to do to uninstall it is to hold it down and then you get a box just like a phone or like an iPod touch or whatever. Uninstall it. Yes. There we go. So now we actually have the Simpsons tapped out. What do you do next? Well, that's very, very easy. You're going to need an Origin account. You don't need one per se, but if you want to actually play with other friends, you're going to need an Origin account. I'm going to show you how to do that. Again, there's the click sync. If you want to try to sync this with your phone, try to do that, be my guest. I don't have a phone, so I can't do that stuff. Keep in mind, I never needed to do that type of stuff. So if you have any problems, the best thing to do is to uninstall it reinstall it, try doing it again, or just start to sync it and then see what happens if you try to go all the way through to, to progress and then go from there. Anyways, you've got The Simpsons tapped out, you click it. Now it's going to actually start it up. Now the very cool thing about this is the sound does work as well. Sometimes. I never used to have sound before I had an older video card. For some reason, the sound didn't work. But I got a newer video card. It wasn't specifically for The Simpsons Tapped Out. It was just that I needed a new video card because my old one was just really, really crappy. So while this is downloading, I'll keep telling you about this. Sound does work, but it may be hit or miss for some people. And like I said with my previous story about my iPod Touch, it may or may not work if you know you have older devices and things of that nature. So this is perfect if you still want to play The Simpsons Tapped Out. So I'm going through a lot of trouble here to actually show you how to get this to work. So I hope this is helping some people. I didn't really want to download it again. But for some strange reason, it made me download it again. That's bizarre. So I had two of them. I didn't even know that was possible, but it is, I guess, apparently. And this actually is an Android emulator, which is very, very cool. It's basically like having a big phone on your computer. So what it's doing is it's actually downloading the actual game. First of all, you actually had to install the app. This is actually downloading the actual game itself. It says, tap to continue playing anonymously. If you don't have an Origin ID, you can still play this game. If you click it, you'll start the game up. You can start playing. If you quit the BlueStacks program and then, you know, jump back into it to play, get to this point, click the uh, particular screen that says playing anonymously, it'll take you back to your 
particular game you were actually playing exactly where you left off. But you will want an Origin account to actually add friends and play with other people. So to do that, click the Login Account button on the left hand side. You're going to get a particular field. If you have an actual email address, type it in, click continue, you'll get a password, type the password in and then you know, go about your daily business. If you don't, type in a particular email address uh, Casey is awesome, how about that? Yeah. Casey is awesome at yahoo.com now if this particular email set, uh, is not in the origin system and you click continue you're going to get a create account what you're going to end up doing now is you can actually change your username to whatever you want of course you can't have duplicates so if somebody already has that particular username it won't work you'll have to find something else I'm sorry guys then you click your password confirm that put in your age agree to the EA policy and then check or uncheck receive email game news I never have that on I hate getting stuff like that then you click the sign up button and away you go so give it a shot see what happens take it from there that's the best advice that I can give you so that is going to wrap up this particular video on downloading installing and creating an origin account for the Simpsons tapped out on your computer. If you enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe guys it is all good. Remember if you have any questions at all leave a comment or message me whatever you want to do and I promise you I will do the best I can to answering every single question you guys ask. So as always, my name is KC, and I will see you on the next one.